You ready to go to Home Depot? Okay. Bum, ba, da, bum. Let's do it. Should we use this shopping cart? Use this one? Okay. Put your feet in there. Ugh, there you go. Now we're ready. You like being at Home Depot? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we got some deaf fluid. We got the hardware to keep these attached. Got some drill bits. I'm gonna go get some uh, some oil for drilling out some metal. I got a little project ahead of me and we have some maintenance to do on the trailer today. So, got my baby rattle, my Home Depot baby rattle. Keep the kid entertained. <laughs> got myself a little pack out. Got some penetrating oil. I'm gonna get this board cut. Just give me one second. As soon as he cuts this, we can go. It's gonna go right on top. All right, we got our board. All right, we got our board. You ready to go home? Okay. All right, say bye to everybody. Say bye. No, don't touch it. Why, Dad? I'm going to film a video real quick. Okay? Okay. All right, everybody. It is Florida in the summertime, so it is very hot. But we are spending the day getting the truck and the trailer cleaned and reorganized. It has been a long time coming. I've needed to do it for forever. My truck has been an absolute disaster. Plus, I put the kids in there, so it's like... The more disorganized I am, the more dangerous it is. So I need to make sure that everything is on point and I have all my stuff ready to go. Um, today, all you people that uh, like to cheap out, I bought a Husky pack out set. I know it's not fancy. I didn't pay three times as much to have it red and with the, the Milwaukee sign on the side. Um, but we're gonna get that all set up. So I've got my stuff pulled out of the truck. We're going through just organizing some things. I got the bottom pack out pretty much set up. I'm going to do bottom is like miscellaneous and tools that I'm not going to be touching all the time, but I might need every once in a while. Middle section is going to be my power tools. And I have my remotes in there for the backup um, on the trailer. If the wireless remote gets lost, what's up? Okay. Give me one second, buddy. All right. Come here. All right. Go get your butt inside. So at any rate, um, yeah, just getting everything packed up. I'm going to end up washing the trailer today. I'm going to go through, clean off all the excess grease, re-grease everything. If there are spots that need touch-up paint, I'm going to do some touch-up paint. Actually, I know for sure there are spots that need touch-up paint, so I'm going to do touch-up paint. Uh, but yeah, just kind of go through, get the business back to where it needs to be um, from an organizational standpoint. All right. So we went through, <laughs> I want to say I cleaned the trailer, but honestly looking at it, doesn't look much like I cleaned it because there's still grease freaking everywhere. I don't even, if anyone has any good suggestions or has a trailer similar to mine and uh, has a good way of keeping grease from just being everywhere, I'd appreciate it. You see, because grease like, it falls on the axles when you grease from there. The inside is just open, open to grease. The outside, every time I hit my rollers, you know, I just wipe the rails off a bit, but you can see where it puddles up under every single roller just grease just everywhere and these obviously those make sense to me because that's near the road but that grease and dirt combo builds up and just kind of spreads itself all around my zerks up here they get greased i mean i guess i could wipe them off when i'm done and then it wouldn't splatter so much but then you have the flywheel up here it's just grease it's just grease everywhere is grease um, but at any rate, so it's not really like I didn't get it ready to show off, but I did clean her up. So 
Gotta throw the kid's seat back in there. Everything is now basically in those pack outs. My coupler, my jack handle, medical kit, hard hat. This is fire extinguisher, fuses, road flares, all the good stuff. I got a blower, I got a grease gun, I got two different jacks, a floor jack and a bottle jack. All right, I don't think I'm gonna end up doing touch-up paint today. I might, I'm still thinking about it, but it really requires a little more prep work than I'm willing to do at this very second. It's hot as hell. So I got the car seat back to installed. Well, I was gonna do possibly a little touch-up paint today, but we're putting her back where she belongs. It's, uh, it's actually starting to rain right this second. I got little drops coming down on me, but uh, got a fair amount done, so not a, not a bad day got one drop this morning did a bunch of maintenance got some stuff done and we are ready to get rocking and rolling again tomorrow have a good one everybody